After looking at the uh, square of a sum and the square of a difference, we're now going to look at this third special situation or special product called the product of a sum and a difference. And so it takes on this characteristic here. Let's say we've got uh, A plus B times A minus B. So and we got two binomials here, our, uh, our first and our last terms, first and second terms, let's say, in each binomial are the same. The only thing is, is in one we're having a, a plus B and the second we're having A minus B or vice versa. And what happens here and what makes this special is the middle terms cancel out. And so our product then is just A squared minus b squared and there is no middle term in the quadratic uh, equation well let's look at a couple of these live so we got 3n plus 2 times 3n minus 2 and once we recognize that we got that situation both terms are the same a plus b times a minus b in this case it's 3n and 2 uh, well, we can just simply go by this and say, well, 3n times 3n is going to be 3 times 3 is 9, n times n is n squared, minus 2 times negative 2, or b squared, minus 4. And there's no middle terms. And so if we recognize a situation exactly like that, we can do it, do that. And of course, if we FOIL it, we would end up with, we'd see the middle terms cancel out. In fact, let's just do a little bit. What if I did 3n times negative 2? Well, that's negative 6n. And how about 2 times 3n? Well, that'd be positive 6n. And the negative 6n and the positive 6n would have the effect of canceling each other out. And we just end up with a squared plus minus b squared. And let's drop down here. We'll do this next one. So we got 4c minus 7d. That's times 4c plus 7d. And we can just quickly go about this using this pattern. 4c, well, let's see, 16c squared. 4 times 4 is 16. And then less minus. 7 and 7 is 49, D and D is D squared, minus 49D squared. You know, one of the things in modern mathematics teaching today is they don't tend to emphasize like they, I would think they should, your multiplication tables. And I think that's absolute nonsense because your multiplication tables are beneficial when you're into this form that we're doing and we're getting ready to go into here just in just a moment, which is factoring. And so if you don't have your multiplication tables clearly memorized, that's something that you should really focus on because it will help you um, maneuver your way through as we're beginning to solve quadratic equations.